Josh. Last week was SEC Media Days, and today we got to hear from the teams of the Sun Belt Conference and the Southwestern Athletic Conference, specifically Troy and Alabama State. Yeah, we've got a lot of football news for you today. Live in studio, WSFA 12 Sports reporter Jamal Kennedy. First off, Jamal, great job to you and Rosie last week with SEC Media Days. Let's talk now about these two conferences. We'll start with Troy and the main takeaways during their time speaking with the media. Yeah, first of all, I appreciate those congratulations a lot. Thanks so much for that. But the big thing that John Sumrall let everyone know today is that basically last year is last year and this year is this year. The mentality is that Troy is working for everything they get this year, just plain and simple. But that's the kind of person John Summerall is anyways. I mean, this isn't anything new. He coaches effort and toughness. And when you play with those two characteristics, you tend to work like you've got something to prove. And that's something Summerall alluding to in this opening statement today. I like our mixture of experience and youth. We have more unknowns and we're less proven than last year's roster. What is known is our culture, our core values, and our daily standards. Those have been very clear, clearly laid out over the last year and a half, and our guys understand them and embrace them. The Troy Trojans opening the season in September at home against Stephen F. Austin. Now, Alabama State opening its second season under Eddie Robinson Jr. September 2nd against Southern. Robinson Jr. and the Hornets speaking today at SWAC Media Days in Birmingham. Robinson Jr. looking to build off of his 6-5 and five first season back at his alma mater. And he's looking for better production overall from his offense. The Hornets scoring just 19.7 points per game last year. And that's quite simply not going to cut it. I think special teams defense, and we have to get even better by having that offense have a better starting position. And I think offensively, we have to run the football consistently. And more often. And I think if we can run the football and have the play action, take the pressure off the quarterback, and then we have an opportunity to make those big plays, take advantage of those. Mark and uh, Rosanna will hear more from Summerall and Robinson Jr. tonight in sports at 6 o'clock. We'll also hear from our high school football team tonight at 10 as River Region Media Days closes up today. So much football excitement on the college and uh, high school levels. Thank you so much, Jamal. We'll check back with you in just a little bit.